Looking for magic cards? Channel Fireball offers a wide selection of magic singles and sealed product. You can now use the promo code LVD at checkout. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena Games video. Today we're taking a look at another historic deck, and as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, we're taking a look at a Teamer Kicker deck featuring a Jace Mirror Mage from Zendikar Rising, the 3 mana Planeswalker that starts out at 4 loyalty, and we can kick Jace for an additional 2 mana, and when Jace Mirror Mage enters a battlefield, if it was kicked, we get to make a token that's a copy of Jace, except it's non-legendary, and it starts out at 1 loyalty, and then Jace can use the plus 1 ability to scry 2, and then the zero ability lets us draw a card and reveal it, and we remove a number of loyalty counters equal to that card's converted mana cost from Jace. So playing Jace is a lot of fun, especially if you kick him, since you get to decide which Jace to plus or zero first, and the sequencing is a lot of fun. And then Jace also fits nicely in our Teamer Kicker deck, and this is a very thematic and flavorful deck in my opinion. We've got a red for burn spells with Sheev and Fire, Royal Eruption, and eventually Fight with Fire. We've got green for ramp with Vine Gecko providing a discount, Elfheim Druid ramping, and then a Vastwood Surge searching up a bunch of lands, and then blue for card advantage with Into the Royal, Chronicler Jace, and then eventually Roost of Drakes as one of our win conditions as well. So it's a very thematic deck combining the kicker cards from Zandik are rising with the ones from Dominaria. So let's take a look at the entire decklist, starting out with our one drops where we've got the full playset of Roost of Drakes, a one mana enchantment saying when the Roost of Drakes enters a battlefield, if it was kicked for an additional two and a blue, we get to make a 2 2 blue Drake creature token with flying, and whenever we cast a kicked spell, we get to make a 2 2 Drake with flying as well. So we can just play the Roost for one mana and cast kicked spells afterwards, or we can decide to play the Roost kicked first to start out with a 2 2 Drake token right away. Then we also have the full playset of Sheev and Fire, a 1 mana instant that deals 2 damage to target creature, and if it was kicked, it deals 4 damage instead, and the kicker cost is 4 mana, so 5 mana total for a kicked Sheev and Fire, but the flexibility is what makes this card so awesome, because we can easily play it on turn 1. We've got 11 untapped red sources in the deck to support the turn 1 Sheev and Fire to take out an opposing 1 or 2 drop, and then later in the game we can play it kicked for 5 mana, and maybe get a few advantages like making a Drake token with the Roost of Drakes, then at 2 mana we've got some ramp with Vine Gecko, providing a 1 mana discount for the first kicked spell we cast each turn, and whenever we cast a kicked spell we can put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Vine Gecko, so playing a turn 2 Gecko sets up a nice turn 3 kicked Roost of Drakes if we've got double blue, so that's a nice sequence that our deck is capable of. And then we also have the full playset of Elfheim Druid, a 2 mana 0 2 from Dominaria, taps to add green mana, and we can also tap to add double green, but we can only spend this mana on kicked spells, and most of the kicker spells in the deck are quite expensive, so having that extra mana is very useful, and Elfheim Druid still sets up a turn 3 kicked Roost of Drakes, and we'll even have one spare mana to maybe spend somewhere else on another Sheevan Fire, or maybe even a second Roost of Drakes, which can lead to some very powerful starts. And then we also have the full playset of Royal Eruption, another burn spell. This is a 2 mana sorcery dealing 3 damage to any target. So unlike Sheevan Fire, this one can also go face or target a Planeswalker. And if this spell was kicked, for 5 additional mana it deals 5 damage instead. And then we also have the full playset of Into the Royal, a 2 mana instant, with kicker for 1 and a blue, and returns target a non-land permanent to its owner's hand, and if it was kicked we get to draw a card as well. Now we could also be playing Blink of an Eye, you could play Split to Into the Royal to Blink of an Eye, just playing the full playset of Into the Royal here for aesthetic purposes. Next up we've got two copies of Coral Helm Chronicler, a 3 mana 2-2 two -two Merfolk Wizard, saying whenever we cast a kicked spell we get to draw a card and then discard a card, giving us a nice bit of card selection, and when the Chronicler enters enters a battlefield, we can look at the top 5 cards of our library, reveal a card with a kicker ability from among them and put it into our hand, so that also provides a nice bit of card advantage. Then we've got our two copies of a Jace Mirror Mage, which is quite synergistic in this deck, because the converted mana costs in the deck are quite low, and Jace using the zero ability won't cost himself too much loyalty, but even though we have a lot of cheap spells, in the late game they're still going to be quite powerful thanks to the kicker ability, as we can sink additional mana into them to make them more powerful. And then we also have the full playset of Fight with Fire, a 3 mana sorcery dealing 5 damage to target creature, and if it was kicked we get to deal 10 damage divided as we choose among any number of targets instead, and the kicker is 5 and a red. So it is quite expensive to kick Fight with Fire, but it will end the game on the spot in a lot of circumstances, so being able to ramp into it with her Elfheim Druid, Vine Gecko, and finally Vastwood Surge is a great way to end the game, and Vastwood Surge is a 4 mana sorcery that lets us search our library for 2 basic land cards to put on a battlefield 
field tapped, and we can kick search for additional 4 mana to put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on each creature we control. So that's amazing in combination with Roost of Drakes, if we manage to make any Drake tokens. And then going over the mana base, I mentioned we've got 11 untapped red sources to cast a turn 1 Sheevan Fire, and we don't have any red sources in addition to those, since we don't really need access to double red since we're casting only single red spells, only need double red eventually for a kicked find with fire. And then we do need quite a bit of blue mana, since we need double blue for a kicked Roost of Drakes, double blue for Into the Royal, and double blue for a Jace. So that's where most of the mana goes. And then we also need to make sure we've got plenty of basic lands to search up with our Vastwood Surge. So that leads us to playing all 12 shock lands. We've got 4 copies of Hinterland Harbor, and then 1 basic forest, 3 mountains, and 4 basic islands. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. All right, we're on the play with a fine opening hand. Would have had the turn one Sheevan Fire. Can't play the Roost of Drakes on turn one, sadly. But I'll just play this tapped and then turn two, I can play Elfame Druid into maybe Roost. Alright, so our opponent's playing a Jeskai Aura's deck here with a Spirit Dancer. So, of course I need to Royal Eruption the Spirit Dancer here. And then the question is, do I want to play a Roost Unkicked? Yeah, I think playing an Unkicked Roost of Drakes is fine here. And then next turn we get to play one with Kicker, make two Drakes. Take it from there. Champion of the Flame, another nice target for various enchantments. Could also go digging with Jace. I think I'm just gonna go with Kicked Rooster Drakes and then take it from there. And next turn if we kick Jace we get to make two Drakes. And hopefully we can outrace the champion. It flies now, so it's gonna be pretty tricky to outrace if they ever decide to stay back. So for this turn, make two mana. Play kick Jace. And then next turn, let's see, five, six, seven. Yeah, if I just have a land, I can play a kicked vast with surge. So maybe drawing a land isn't bad here. Assuming I don't die. So let's draw. And hit for four. Yeah, if we can avoid dying, that would be great. Another Curiosity. And a Sentinel's Eyes. Hmm, the Vigilance is pretty annoying here. So I'll take 11. Yeah, if they didn't have Vigilance, we would have been able to attack for 16 exactly. Well, my opponent's taking two damage there. Let's see. Well, I guess Into the Royal kind of does a two for us. So, can play Kicked Into the Royal. Bounce Champion. And then we just gotta avoid dying to the Selfless Savior. And I can kill it with the Sheevan Fire. Which I can't kick. Let's see what's on top first here. Every bottom, bottom. And I'll just use the zero ability on Jace. But yeah, my opponent explodes, so... We almost would have killed him with a kick advanced with Surge to hit him for 16 in the air. They had the Vigilance, luckily found the Into the Royal to bounce the champion. 
And that's game. Sweet. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with an acceptable hand, a bit of interaction, some ramp. Facing irrigated farmland, so it could be a more controlling deck. Ooh, never mind. Supreme Phantom. So my points on spirits. Do I kill the Phantom now, or do I still play a green creature here? I still have a fight with fire to kill another lord, but I could see it getting awkward if my opponent plays a lot of ways to pump their creatures and the royal eruption no longer kills Supreme Phantom. So let's just kill it now. Definitely a close call though. Opponent's playing green for collected company, presumably. Alright, Shivan Fire could be nice. So now. I think I like Vine Gecko, keep up Sheevan Fire, and then next turn I can double 2-drop. And at least if Vine Gecko starts applying a bit of pressure, if they flash in a Spirit here I can maybe Sheevan Fire it. I like this Nebelgast Herald, and I'll just kill it now, want to avoid the scenario where my opponent plays a 4th land and then Cast a Collected Company, hitting two Lords to put the Herald out of range. Alright, so this is my opponent's Collected Company turn, presumably. And yeah, can't really do much about it. But we can start working towards a Kicked Fight with Fire, so that's nice. Play my stuff main phase, because if they do play a counter spell, I can at least still attack with Gecko now. I can't really attack into 4 open mana. So yeah, next turn I can already cast Kicked Fight with Fire. Both Geckos discounting for 1 and Elfium Druid adding 2 mana. So hopefully my opponent taps out and we can kill their entire board. So I don't think I get to kill their entire board. I can deal 5 here, 4 here, and that only leaves me 1 damage, which is not enough to kill the Phantom. But uh, still definitely the play. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 5, 4, 1. And hit for 6. So despite my opponent hitting a pretty awesome collected company there, we're still in the game. Spectral Sailor will help the opponent refuel. And we just want to draw some kicker cards. Basic Island, not so much. Can't play around another company at this point. Just gotta jam and hope for the best. Opponent's down to 7. But they do get to draw a card, so don't love my chances, but we're just one good top deck away from securing the win. Kira. Kira's pretty good, makes a lot of my interaction pretty bad here. I see they've added a new animation for Kira, I don't remember seeing that one before. So, play Chronicler, see what we can find. Opponent could be holding a Lofty Denial as well that they're considering casting. Alright, what do I find? A Royal Eruption, which can go face. It's probably my best bet here. So we'll take Royal Eruption, attack for 6, and then my opponent would be forced to block. And then now, 3, 4, 5, 6, I can cast a kick to Royal Eruption. Could cast it next turn. So an interesting spot here. 
I can kill any one of my opponent's creatures. Or I can just hope they don't have a flash creature here. So let's say they have a Nebelgast Herald. They probably would have cast it before I got a chance to attack. So that seems unlikely. Could be a Rattle Chains, I suppose. Although they also probably would have flashed it in to block a Vine Gecko instead. So I think they're just going to use the Sailor's ability. Three, four, five, and if they hit another Lord, I'm still not dead. Or they could be holding a counter spell, which then could counter my Royal Eruption next turn. But I'm still attacking for five, so I think. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think I just hold the land because I can't pay for Lofty Denial even if I play my land if I want to play a kicked Royal Eruption. Opponent just draws with a Sailor. And yeah, if they don't have a counter spell, they're just dead to a kicked a Royal Eruption. Opponent's gonna draw. And I don't even need my Elfame Druid to tap for mana should they tap it down. So I can move to combat first, hit for 5, and yeah, my opponent explodes. Oof, a very close game here. And uh, yeah, managed to deduce what my opponent could or could not have been holding in the end to decide to hold the Royal Eruption. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play, and we're facing an Omori deck, so it could be Goblins or Mutates are the most likely candidates. This hand's not great, both lands are tapped, no red mana, no ramp. So let's take a mulligan. This is not a whole lot better, but still probably a keep. And then I'll get rid of one Vastwood Surge, even though we could maybe use both to ramp into a kicked fight with fire. Forest into Gracer, so looking more like a mutate deck. All right, land is good. So if they mutate, I can fight with fire. Parcel beast to find targets. Although they will get to draw a card here. Next turn, can decide between Kicked Roost or Fastwood Surge. Opponents out of lands in hand, so it's all action. And a Gem Racer could also destroy my Roost of Drakes, making it a less appealing card here. So how about I play Vastwood Surge and then next turn I can play Chronicler and maybe cast a fight with fire if I draw it. Although they could potentially mutate some bigger stuff onto the Gem Racer in the meantime. So I'll get second red and then fourth blue source. Draws a Temple of Mystery. And mutates a Dreamtail Heron. Alright, if we can find another fight with fire here, we could be okay. Or I guess just a land does it too, since I can play Kicked Royal Eruption. It's gonna be a Gilded Goose. Opponent's probably holding Auspicious Sterix in hand, if I had to guess, since I haven't had a chance to mutate that one yet. Picked up Sheevan Fire. So, what's my play here? Don't want my opponent mutating Sterix if I can help it, so I could kill the Goose. So I could go play Roost Unkicked and then play Kicked Sheevan Fire. Yeah, I guess we'll go Roost into Kicked Sheevan Fire. In case they have any pump spells here. Mm. 
see Dasher Octopus. End of turn. Okay. Are they gonna mutate on top of that with Asterix? They are. Finds a land. So Chronicler needs to find something good here. Probably gonna take six. Or I could jump to prevent card draw, but maybe if I draw another Sheevan Fire, I can block plus play Kick Sheevan Fire. It's gonna be another Roosts. And then I probably get in for two, still have six power back on defense, keep land in hand to discard to Chronicler. Oof. And race for runners. Fifty minus six is nine. So yeah, even had I kept back the Drake, I still die here. Alright, GG's. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw, facing a Kahira, the Orphan Guard deck. Could be just like a control deck, free rolling Kahira, could be the Crater Hoof Tokens deck. We'll try it. If this is a pure control deck, Sheevan Fire is gonna be pretty bad. Probably worth it to take two damage here to keep up Sheevan Fire. Alright, it's a blue red deck, so could be a polymorph type deck, we'll see in a second. Honden. So what am I doing this turn? Can play Kick Jace, that seems good. I like into the Royal in this matchup. Can bounce the Hondans. I'll just draw it right away. Ah, here's a new piece to the puzzle. This wasn't part of my plan. Thirst for meaning. So next turn I can play kicked into the Royal, add another elf into the board as well. Discards conundrum. And plays Savai Triumphs that are definitely playing all five colors, is my guess. Alright. Does Gecko change anything here? Can play Gecko. I mean, I don't have to into the Royal, the Honden is the thing. I want to wait for them to play more expensive Hondons to bounce. So let's start by Scrying. I have a lot to think about. Do need more lands. And then I'll probably just Scry again so I don't lose Chase. I guess I can zero two. Sure. Finds a land. And then I can just go Gecko plus Elfheim this turn. Don't be so friendly. Gonna be in Datha Triome. Into Sanctum of Calm Waters. Now that one I don't mind bouncing. Can also play Kick Chief and Fire here with double Alpha and Druid. So I've got some options. At least I look like Rusev Drakes I also looks good. I'll just draw it here, I think. It does mean losing Jace. I guess I can just draw it with the Into the Royal Kicked. Yeah, that's fair. So let's just kick into the royal. And then just uh, 
plus with Jace. Every thought matters. And do I want to do anything else? This mana can only be spent on kicked cards, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Not enough for a kicked royal eruption. So I guess we'll just play Steam Vents Tapped and uh, maybe Royal Eruption Face. Six. Yeah, I guess Royal Eruption Face means I can maybe kill them next turn with a Kicked Fight with Fire, as we'll be able to grow the Gecko once again. Sanctum of all. But my opponent's just dead here. Alright, sweet. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a keepable hand. We've got a turn to Elfin Druid into Kick Jace. Can even play a turn one Roost of Drakes, which I don't hate. Opponent with turn one Breeding Pool into Grow Spiral, so. Nothing I need to Royal Eruption just yet. Hope my Elfheim Druid survives. It's gonna be Voracious Hydra for two, sadly killing my Elfheim Druid here. Alright, I guess we'll a Royal Eruption, the Hydra, play Stomping Ground tapped, take it from there, and then keep the fight with fire, since I can ramp with Surge, so we can maybe play Kicked Fight with fire. Alright, opponent on four colors, and Leafkin Druids, so still not quite sure what my opponent's playing. And then we'll just get Mountain Forest. Don't think it matters too much. Maybe getting another island was better since we might use four blue sources in the same turn. Crisis for four. So I can play Kick Jace and then still have into the royal available potentially or I can fight with fire crisis it's not the best exchange yeah I'll just play kick jace here and then see what happens Find Backup Jace and Royal Eruption. I guess I don't hate Royal Eruption here. And then I can draw it right away. And that can finish off Crisis next turn. Could take two to keep up into the Royal anyway, but definitely don't want to bounce Crisis. Could also kill the Druid right now. That's another option. Yeah, I guess so. And then one of my Jaces will die, but we'll still have the other one. And we're getting closer to Kicked's fight with fire. I, I think they should have killed the copy instead of the real Jace, because now if I draw another Jace, I can still make a copy and have three Jaces as opposed to just two. Or for Omnath. Alright, decisions, decisions. Can play another Vastwood Surge to set up Kicked Fight with Fire next turn. 
Do I just cash in my Jace at this point? I think so. Maybe that changes my play. Alright, found a lens. Could also play kicked vast with surge now, so I guess that's the play. And I'll have two four four drakes. And then I'll keep them back on defense, although Omnath is probably going to grow up to a 5-5. So I don't necessarily want to trade here. So maybe I should have attacked for 4 anyway. If my opponent's playing black, they're probably playing Yarok as well, is my guess. Omnath draws a card. But a kicked fight with fire still looking pretty strong here. Ooh, mass manipulation stealing my two drakes. That's pretty rude. I need a better solution. So I could go to one here. I could jump a Drake and finish it off with Sheevan Fire, or I can go to one and then have kicked into the Royal Kick Sheevan Fire. There's Yarok. Doesn't die to my Kick Sheevan Fire, sadly. Let's start here. Not the best draw. So I guess I'll just pass. Double scry thanks to Yarok. Then I can trade my entire board for a Yarok the Desecrated. Alright, my opponent's out of action. I want to keep one land in hand in case I've drawn the Coral Helm Chronicler so I can maybe discard it and find something better. At least we've got a lot of mana, so every card we draw with Kicker, we can easily kick. Oof, Crisis for 8. Yeah, I could go for a Crisis for 8 right about now. And yeah, Kick Cheevan fires just game over. GG's. Yeah, that mass manipulation stealing our two drakes was definitely the turning point. But uh, yeah, opponent also had the early Hydra to kill the Elfheim Druid to prevent turn 3 kick Jace, so they kind of had the better start here the entire game. And then Crace is of course a very powerful card when you have this much mana available. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Missing blue mana, but we can use Vasud Search to eventually fix our mana, so I'll try it. Sadly, the Gecko doesn't allow a turn 3 Vasud Search, unlike Elfheim Druids. Opponent on green white with a Paradise Druid that we can't quite kill here. In Datha Trium, Sir Point on Abzan. And yeah, I don't have anything going on here. I 
Huntmaster Langer, I see. So it's a hexproof mutate deck that's gonna keep piling on creatures onto the Paradise Druids. Hemophage is gonna drain me for two. And I can play Kicked Roost here. Sack for three. And I'm tempted to just Royal Eruption my opponent's face as well. Don't think I'll have time to play it kicked, and we've got a kicked fight with fire to play instead. Another Liger. I was a little surprised that they chose the 3-3 three, three Alaster instead of the 3-4. So this turn 7-8 I can play kicked fight with fire, which isn't quite lethal, but it's very close. Or I can just uh, play Chronicler and then I don't have to take two from Breeding Pool, which could also matter here. Find another Roost. That works. Although I guess I'll have to take two in order to play it kicked. I guess it's worth it. And then next turn we should have lethal with the fight with fire. Recluse giving Langer reach. Puts us to nine. But this should be game. Alright, sweet. So even though we couldn't kill the Hexproof creature, we still managed to go over the top. So overall, the Teamer Kicker deck. I like the deck quite a bit because it's so flavorful in the sense that it respects the color pie. And uh, yeah, getting to combine the old Dominaria Kicker cards with the new Zendikar Rising ones is a lot of fun. And the deck is very fair. It plays a very fair style of magic, not doing anything too busted but has some cool synergies. Our deck is going to struggle against any combo decks like Treasure Hunt or Song of Creation, since we don't have any counter spells, but that's something you could easily address in best of three by adding some negates in the sideboard. And then also ramp decks going over the top, thinking of the new Omnath Landfall ramp decks in Historic. Those are going to be very difficult matchups as well, since we don't necessarily compete with them in the late game, and we're not aggressive enough to close out the game before they can do their powerful stuff. So it's definitely not the best historic deck out there, but it stands a chance against any creature decks in the format. Maybe a Resolve the Muxus is going to be difficult to beat as well, since that can just win the game by itself, but the smaller goblins we can handle. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.